Ryan Henry Ward is an artist who has completed an inordinate number of murals in Seattle in public places and he's not done yet. Regina Hacke is a uh, well-respected art critic in Seattle. She worked for the Seattle PI for years. I do what I've always done. I write about art, which makes me uh, somebody on the sidelines conversing about the play. Critics comment on art. What pushed my buttons about Regina Hackett was um, just how disrespectful she was. The art scene in Seattle, like the art scene in almost any major city in the country, has, can't be judged by itself. Art is part of a global situation. Two years ago, I decided to be a professional artist and how I did that was I made a bunch of paintings, made up like 10, 12 paintings and brought them in, brought them around to different galleries and found a spot to hang them. And kind of at the same time, I moved into a vehicle and that allowed me to, you know, knock all the bills out of my life. And so I didn't, you know, owe anybody money and um, I didn't have to worry about making money. And I was just able to do every day, I was able to do what I loved. I think it's great. I like it. That, that, that's what matters to me. Do you like it, Maggie? <laughs> Maggie likes it. I know I didn't go into this like really knowing what I was getting myself into and um, but it's been just incredibly positive. A community is made up of individuals and each of those individuals is a mystery and can speak for himself or herself. But Generally, in what I regard as the art world, that is people making art that involves thinking, I don't think it's highly prized. Some people might not even notice it because they're in the funnel of their own attention. They're not looking at the storefront or garage door or a section of cement. It is cloying. It, uh, it aspires to the lowest common denominator. It's, isn't this nice? Art can be extraordinarily nice without maintaining the fiction that there is nothing but nice in the world. The art I like has a whiff of the corpse. Another big inspiration of mine is um, my older brother who is deceased um, about 10 years ago. Um, he was a great artist and taught me a lot about how to paint and um, uh, composition and just taught me a lot about a lot of different things. And um, having him gone, I kind of feel like I need to like uh, kind of represent him in a way, you know, and um, so a lot of uh, the energy I get comes from, you know, wanting to uh, kind of make up for the fact that my brother's not here anymore. Another big inspiration of mine is just uh, my friends, and a lot of my characters come out of, you know, different friendships that I have. I, I guess I didn't realize how fun it would be to be an artist. In Henry's case, when I see his work, it just annoys me. A blank wall does not annoy me. You know, I set a goal to paint 50 murals in Seattle, and I've done like 79 now, um, working on my 80th mural. I'd like to see more opportunities for the artists who are there already. I just, you know, I just think it's, you know, not really my responsibility to, um, like I shouldn't slow down what I'm doing um, with my art and wait for every other artist in Seattle to catch up with me. I described Henry's work as happy times after the lobotomy. So uh, happy times after the lobotomy was a show that I uh, displayed at the Belmar um, in Ballard and the name of that um, art show came from something that Regina Hackett said about my artwork. Henry's work does not allow for a myriad-minded response. It allows for 
just this much of the brain that is humming to itself, barely alive. The reason I used that phrase was because I kind of agree with her and thought it was really clever and funny. And um, actually a lot of the things that she said I just cracked up about. <laughs> Bring on the lobotomies. <laughs> you know, sometimes leaving childhood is an earned state. You know, you can stay there forever in rotten place mentally. You have to keep thinking. There, there's a lot of art coming from a lot of people that don't need the approval of others to do it. And um, so, yeah, I guess watch out.